Good morning, good morning. It's another snowy day. Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning. Story time is here. Hooray! Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Story Time. It is, in fact, a very, very snowy day out there, and I have just the right book for that. But first, let's do some bread and butter. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as happy as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as sad as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slow as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as fast as we can. Hello. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello! Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quiet as we can. Hello! Nicely done, everyone. Um, so yes, we are going to get to our book next. And as I flashed it up on the screen, it's a wonderful book called The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. It's the winner of the Caldecott Medal many, many decades ago. This book is was written so long ago. When was this book written? 1962. So almost 60 years ago, but it's still just as good as the day it was published. So we're going to read it right now. Uh, let's see if I can fit the book right there. Okay. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. Just like today when you woke up, there was snow as far as you could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and he ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street, and it made a path for walking. Don't you just love those giant piles of snow that you can slide down and climb up and... Crunch, 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 his feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out, like this. And he walked with his toes pointing out, like that. Sorry, with his toes pointing in. So first with his toes pointing out, and then with his toes pointing in. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. What do you think he found sticking out of the snow that made a new track? It was a stick. 
I guess they gave us a clue there when they said it was sticking out of the snow. A, sni a stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. <laughs> Look at him smacking that snow-covered tree, and you all know what happens when you smack a snow-covered tree with a stick. Down fell the snow, plop, right on top of Peter's head. Look at that snow right on his head. And he's off walking again. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. Sometimes that happens with big boys, huh? You try to play with them, but you're not quite old enough just yet. But you know what Peter did? He just made a smiling snowman instead, and he made snow angels. Look at those beautiful snow angels. What I love about this book is that, you know, and it's it's about a little boy going out in the snow and, and finding ways to make fun for himself. Hitting a tree with a stick, making a snow angel, making a snowman. He's just, uh, he's using his own imagination and his own um, self to have fun. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall heaping mountain of snow and then he slid all the way down. Whee! Having a little bum slide down the snow pile. He does look like he has a very cozy red snowsuit on, which is perfect for a day like that. He picked up a handful of snow and another, and still another. He packed it round and firm and he put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and he thought and he thought about them. Look, he's having a bath. He's playing with his little toy sailboat and his toy rubber ducky. And he's just thinking about the snow. The way we do sometimes after we have a lot of fun, we just kind of think about it and remember it. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pockets. But his pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. What do you think happened to that snowball? I think it might have melted. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere, and new snow was falling. Hooray! After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall. And they went out together into the deep, deep snow. Look at those giant piles of snow. And this time, Peter's decided that he wants to go out with his friend. He had fun uh, the first day on his own. The second day, he wanted to go out with a little buddy. And I just love that book. It's got such a nice pace and such beautiful illustrations. And now, I know sometimes you like to move around a bit after we read a book, so we're going to do a zoom, zoom, zoom. And because I'm here and I'm trying to stay in the camera here, I won't be able to go down and leap up into the air, and, but you can do that. So feel free to stand up for this one. It's probably best done standing up. Here we go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, zoom, zoom. We're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! And when you blast off, you can leap up into the air. Or if you've got a grown up there with you, maybe they'll lift you up into the air. Let's do another one. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Fun, 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 we're going to the sun. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! We got one more. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. 
far, 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 we're going to the stars. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Far, 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 we're going to the stars. In five, four, three, two, one, blast off! <laughs> Hooray! Nicely done. Um, you know what we're going to do now? You might need to pause this video because you need to get yourself a scarf or a hanky or even a t-shirt or whatever works for you, whatever is something scarf-like. Or you can just pretend if you don't have one there. But anyway, we are going to do another one of our scarf songs. Last time we did one about popcorn. Today we're going to do one about the fish and the other things that that uh, that happened in the sea in the ocean. Okay, so here goes. The fish in the sea go swish swish swish, swish swish swish, swish swish swish. The fish in the sea go swish swish swish, all day long. Now the dolphins are going to go round and round. The dolphins in the sea go round and round, round and round, round and round. The dolphins in the sea go round and round all day long. And now the waves are going to go up and down. The waves in the sea go up and down, up up and down, up and down, the waves in the sea go up and down all day long. Now the sand is going to drift, the sand in the sea drifts down, 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 the sand in the sea drifts down, 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 all day long. Nicely done everyone. We're going to do it again, okay? I'm going to change colors. I have a whole bunch of different scarves here. I'm going to go with the orange one for this time. Here we go. The fish in the sea go swish, 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 swish. Swish, 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 the fish in the sea go swish, 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 all day long. The dolphins in the sea go round and round, round and round, round and round. The dolphins in the sea go round and round, all day long. The waves in the sea go up and down, up and down, up and down. The waves in the sea go up and down all day long. The sand in the sea drifts down, 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 down. Down, 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 the sand in the sea drifts down, 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 all day long. Okay, it is time for our little song that we do at the end of our story times. So as usual, if you would like to get an instrument to play along, you can do that. An egg shaker. Uh, whatever works for you, you can just clap your hands. Actually, the song we're going to do today has a lot of m motions and things, so you might not want to have anything in your hand. Okay, and we're going to sing Mama Don't Allow. Mama Don't Allow No Singing Round Here. Mama Don't Allow No Singing Round Here. We don't care what mama don't allow, we're gonna sing anyhow. Mama don't allow no singing round here. What else doesn't mama allow? Clapping. Mama don't allow no clapping round here. Mama 
Mama don't allow no clapping round here. We don't care what Mama don't allow. We're gonna clap anyhow. Mama don't allow no clapping round here. And stomping is next. Mama don't allow no stomping round here. Mama don't allow no stomping round here. We don't care what Mama don't allow. We're gonna stomp anyhow. Mama don't allow no stomping round here. And what else does not Mama allow? How about dancing? Mama don't allow no dancing round here. Mama don't allow no dancing round here. We don't care what Mama don't allow. We're gonna dance anyhow. Mama don't allow no dancing round here. And how about some hopping? Mama don't allow no hopping round here. Mama don't allow no hopping round here. We don't care what Mama don't allow. We're gonna hop anyhow. Mama don't allow no hopping round here. <laughs> well, thanks for joining me for today's snowy story time. I hope you had fun, and I hope to see you next week. Bye!